Mr. Chair, uh, and thank you for your testimony. Um, going back to the ruling from Judge Kenny, Timothy Kenny, he writes that your description of the events at the TCF Center does not square with any other affidav right. affidavits. Yeah. He says that there are, uh, excuse me, I'm, please, I'm speaking. Please, thank uh, you. Let's let the representative finish and then you can. He, he writes that there are no other reports of lost data or tabulating machines that jammed repeatedly every hour during the count. He also writes that neither Republican nor Democratic challengers nor city officials substantiate your version of these events. The allegations simply are not credible, is what Judge Kenny writes. So my question for you is, uh, you know, you're making claims here today that there's systematic fraud in, in what's going on in our elections. Are the courts also tied up in that fraud? Let me tell you what I did by accident, okay? I gave Channel 7 an interview that they tied in to that and made me the witness that's uncredible. Guess what? There's going to be a couple behind me that are going to say the same thing I just said. And... The witness before you was also proven not credible as well by oh, the no, same judge. Oh, no, she wasn't because she, was. she wasn't even there. Representative the Camilleri, let's let her finish, please. Talked. The very Cam first time. Uh, so I just want to understand, um, you know, I don't know what exactly all the things that are being talked about there are, but but can you tell us uh, what you said today is, is the truth? Is that correct? Sir, I wrote a written affidavit. Yes, it is a hundred percent true. Okay, and and did did other people observe this? Absolutely. You'll be you'll, and behind me. You're going to hear a couple. Okay, and uh, and we'll we'll hear and from them. And let me hopefully. just state this: mm -hmm. I was an IT worker on the stage. These, I was working with Dominion. I had not, not no poll workers were not allowed on the stage. The data loss. Nobody would have heard about that besides me, Samuel, and Nick. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just like nobody knows that Samuel went to the where Chicago warehouse besides me because I worked for Dominion. They didn't. They're not going to hear that part. It, that You know what I mean? The poll workers are not going to know that Samuel, they're not even going to know who he is. You know? They're not going to know that he went to the warehouse. So uh, can you, I think to what Camp Representative Camilleri is asking is um, perhaps why, why is it that more people, and I know we have a couple here today, uh, but why is it that we're not having more people come forward? I mean, it seems like if there I'll was tell all you this why. widespread fraud that, you know, we'd have dozens and dozens of people. I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. My life has been destroyed. My life has been completely destroyed because of this. I've lost family. I've lost friends. I've been threatened. I've been, th my kids have been threatened. My, I've, I've had to move. I've had to change my phone number. I've had to get rid of social media. I've, there, the, nobody wants to come forward. They're getting threatened. They're, they're people, their lives are getting ruined. I can't even get an actual job anymore. I can't <laughs> because Democrats like to ruin your lives. That's why. All right. All right.